Hi guys. Hey, uh, thanks for all the comments about uh, that our video quality with the new camera is better. Yes, I think it's better. I think so too. Yeah. <laughs> so we uh, did change a couple of settings uh, for this introduction. Uh, so as compared to yesterday's introduction, let me know uh, if the picture quality is even better. And a couple of you guys commented the outside uh, photos was really good. Uh, the inside was good, uh, but it was more vivid outside. So I went ahead and uh, did a couple of settings, and we'll see if it uh, actually gets better. So yeah, we'll find uh, out. Let us know, guys. Uh, next up is our Saturday live stream. Yes. Uh, I scheduled that <laughs> last night, so it should be visible to you. Uh, we're doing a live stream at 8 a.m. on Saturday, and this time it's going to be a topic. The topic is about building homes in the Philippines yes. and answering your questions. You know, so many people has questions, and you guys ask a bunch uh, through Facebook Messenger comments and especially emails. Uh, so we figured it would be good just to have a live stream for you guys to ask your specific questions. So hopefully you guys are available. Again, it's uh, this Saturday, September 9th at 8 a.m. Philippine time. So adjust for your time, whatever country you're in. Uh, hopefully you can join and fire away. Uh, again, we're not experts when it comes to construction or building a home, but we did just go through it. Yes. Um, and we feel pretty comfortable <clears throat> uh, answering most questions. And if yeah. we can't answer the question, then you know, obviously we'll, we'll just say that. We can just uh, share to you guys uh, our experience. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. I mean, we went through it, so we do have uh, obviously some tribal knowledge and understanding of uh, how to maneuver through the municipal and all the different permits, how to get the property titled, and then you know the construction itself and right down through the architect and engineer. I mean, there, there's a lot to think about. There is. So there is a lot of questions out there. And uh, if you guys uh, want to join that live stream, that would be great. Now, we could talk about other topics as well. But the main focus of this live stream is about answering your questions regarding uh, building in the Philippines. Hey, we have a couple of uh, selfie, selfie challenges. Challenge. We haven't uh, done this in a while. No, we haven't. Yes. <laughs> so uh, first up is Arnel and Carla. They're both Filipinos. They moved at a very early age to Hawaii. Lucky you guys. Yes. Uh, spent your adult life in Hawaii and now looking to retire to the Philippines. Yes. So here you go, guys. Arnel and Carla. Thanks guys uh, for participating in the uh, selfie challenge. Uh, next up is a special one. Very special one. <laughs> it's uh, my great nieces, Lila and Noah. Hello Lila, hi uh, Noah. You guys look so cute and thank you for doing the selfie challenge guys. So here you go everyone, my great nieces, Lila and Noah from New Jersey. <laughs> great, great photo, guys. Appreciate it very much. Hey, one more reminder. Um, if you sent in a photo and we didn't yet put it up on one of our videos, mm -hmm. that means I just lost it uh, when I fell behind, when we weren't feeling well, and then my phone. <laughs> we don't want to talk about that no more. no more. I think you guys know that know about the phone. <laughs> Uh, so resend the photo and some information, and then we'll get uh, your photo on uh, subsequent videos here in the future. So today we uh, have a big project. I'm going to tackle the power washing of the rock wall. Don't know how far I'm going to get, uh, but I'm looking forward to getting it done. It's something that we've been talking about for a long time. For a long time, yes. We just never get to it. Yeah, we just never get to it. So we're going to go out there today and give it our all. It looks like it's going to be a nice day. Uh, we'll show you guys the puppies. You know, you guys are always asking about the, uh, the puppies. They're doing <laughs> so good. They're cute. And they're, they're really good, two little dogs. We're yeah. really enjoying them. We're going to yeah. miss yeah. them when they go. Yeah. Um, so mm -hmm. it looks like we may have a couple to adopt them, uh, a foreigner. 
uh, and actually want to adopt uh, both puppies. So stay tuned for that. But we're really starting to enjoy them. Yes. And uh, Daisy, she's really a sweetheart. Daisy's really taken to Wilma. Yeah, she's coming along. Yeah, and uh, now she runs to us, not away from us. Yeah. Duke's been fantastic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now Duke runs to me and lays right on his back and wants to be uh, petted. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to miss them. Yes, of course. They're eating good. They're fully <laughs> weaned from, from Sandy. They still uh, spend a lot of time with her, but uh, she's already weaned them. Yeah. As they try to get some milk, she just walks away. So they're fully on solid food, uh, eating three or four times a day. They're a good eater. They're really good eaters. But Wilma uh, really does a nice job. You do uh, shredded chicken. Yeah, because you, you know, uh, you need to make it small. Make sure that there's no bones in there. Yeah, and then you do rice with like a chicken broth, yeah. and then she makes it puts water in with it. Mm -hmm. So they really, really enjoy it. So <clears throat> to the point now where if they're down by the gate and we come out and they see us having that <laughs> food bowl. They run and bark. They run and bark all the way up the driveway. I got to catch that yeah. on a video for you guys. It's really amazing. Mm -hmm. So I hope you guys can join the live stream this Saturday and let's get outside and uh, get the power wash in those rocks. All right, so what I wanted to show you guys is uh, in the morning when we bring out the food, look who's waiting for us. Daisy, Duke, come here. <laughs> she's starting to warm up. She's not as skittish as she's been. But look, see what happens when they see the, the food in the morning. They run to it. <laughs> so again, more shredded chicken, rice, and uh, some chicken broth with a little bit of water. That's what they like. And they're good eaters. Um, Wilma's feeding them three to four times a day. I mean, they got a big meal like this uh, last night. It was dark. It was probably 7 o'clock. Uh, PM and they had uh, a full meal So it's first thing in the morning and uh, this is their breakfast But they're always hanging out around mealtime and when they see this container uh, They uh, they come running So they're doing well. They're definitely gaining weight They're both uh, warmed up to us very much especially uh, Daisy she, She'll run to us now. She doesn't run away so uh, definitely uh, spending time whether it's working. So uh, they're getting closer and closer to uh, getting adopted. And uh, I believe uh, we have a viewer uh, who lives uh, just not too far from here, uh, north of us, that is actually moving to the Philippines uh, mid-month, so uh, next week. And uh, they want to come and uh, adopt both uh, puppies. They recently lost a dog, so uh, they're in the market to, to find uh, a new dog, and they said that they uh, would like to keep them together. So let's hopefully that works out. What is that, an inchworm? Look at that right there. Looks like an inchworm. So I never touch anything that I don't know, because sometimes we almost says, oh, if you touch that, it's poisonous. Uh, take a look. He's just moving along, so I'm going to let him be. But uh, there they are, Daisy and Duke having breakfast. Hey, what are you doing? Finally getting to the rock. You finally, huh? Wow, so that rock is uh, really bright now. Yeah, really. Yeah. You can really see the difference. Definitely. So you're going to do this uh, whole corner here? I'm going to go from here to the steps. Oh, okay. That's good. So look at the difference, how bright this rock is compared to the rocks down there. Yeah, so definitely. Some light. Yeah, you and can I tell. I have some uh, mold and mildew spray, too. And I'm going to spray the rocks with a, a little bit of that and see if that helps as well. Yeah, that's good. So look at the difference. I mean, it really it takes time. 
Yeah, definitely. Big difference, right? Big difference. So it just, it just takes time. You just have to go through it. So here's a silken cement, and there's a lot of rocks. See all the rocks and dirt that's there? Yeah. So we just want to get that off. We just want to clean it up. Mm-hmm. And then on Saturday, when uh, Rimling gets here, we have a lot of wildflowers that we're going to plant. The Hans go give us? Yeah, Hans. Yeah. Yeah, Hans that came and visited. Yeah, thanks, uh, Hans. So uh, we're going to put that all through the rock. Yeah, that would look nice. But before before I do that, uh, I want to try to get all the rocks. I mean, look at that rock. It's all mud and rocks on there. Yeah. And that all has to be cleaned up. So uh, it's a nice day. I have my uh, SPF 50 on. I got my hat. <laughs> so I'm going to go through and take a few hours brighten this up a little bit yeah so you guys get to see the before and then we'll show you the after and you can tell the difference are you done yet <laughs> this is what you have a uh, halfway you're about halfway A lot of work, guys. So what I wanted to show you is, uh, Wilma, if you could come real close. This is what the rock looked like just a few minutes ago, right? Dull looking, right? Just yeah. horrible. But well, look what's underneath it. Look at the colors. Very nice colors. And some of the rocks, you know, they have pink, they have red, they're green, they're blue. So just look, you know, it, it takes time. See how it all comes apart? Yeah. And get as close as you need to. But uh, you can see that it's just, the rocks just come to life. So just look at the difference between this and this. Just amazing. And this the is difference. like concrete. And this is all rocks that's just embedded over time, rock and dirt. Um, and it takes time to get it to come out. But just look at that rock over there. That's got tans and blues and grays and different veins. The one over there to the left is all hollow. Like it's almost like a, a, a coral rock where it's all got different veins going in it. And it's all hollow. So this is definitely taking time. Uh, but I think it's worthwhile. I think the rocks are really going to look nice. Um, There's just a lot of dirt. See all the dirt and sand that has accumulated. So it's it's uh, it's time. I mean, I've been talking about it for a long time. And we're finally getting to it. It's taken uh, longer than I thought. So I've been doing it for an hour now. And I've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've only done nine or ten rocks in an hour. Um, so it's taking a little bit longer than I thought and then take a look down here <laughs> This this rock I've already soaked it a few times What I figured out is uh, if you get it real wet and let it sit and then move on to another rock Then when you come back to it, it comes off much easier But it's definitely going to take time, but we'll show you the progress uh, throughout the day He's still at it guys it takes a long time. This is the crook here. The water running. You still at it? Yes, it was. Uh, we never power washed this. No. Wow. But if you take your time, look at you that. See, like, look right in this area. This is what the rocks look like all the way across. Yeah. And then just look at the color that comes out. This is uh, all nice and red. Got some pans going through it. It's amazing. It just it just takes time. You can see you can just come across nice and slow. And then 
you can see the difference between the two. Yes, definitely. Takes a lot of time. Almost got it done. It was a lot of work, huh? These larger ones here in the bottom was uh, really hard. Had a lot of mud, a lot of uh, mold on it. Yeah. You really got to soak it and let it sit a little bit. And then come back and rework it. It's a lot of work. You've been... You've been working for two hours now, I think. Yeah, it's been about two hours, but it looks pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah, a lot better. So Beautiful day. Is, uh, let this sit a couple of days and you'll maybe come back again and do it again just to get the little bit that I missed. Yeah. Looking good, though. Well, it turned out to be a beautiful day. It was uh, cloudy earlier. What a beautiful day. Great day to power wash rock wall. So we got it done. Looks so much better. Definitely more work than I thought it was going to be. Took a little uh, over uh, two hours uh, to complete this side. So I want to show you the difference. And I power washed the steps too, twice. Uh, just to try to uh, get as much of the dirt off as possible. But look at the difference. Now, obviously, once the rocks dry, uh, they're not going to look exactly like that. Uh, but look at the color pop as compared to over here. And that's what all the, uh, you know, the dirt and the grime and the sand and the rocks. There's some moss uh, mixed in. A little of uh, everything. So definitely like the way it came out. Like I said, the sun will bake it now. And it'll dry because it's it's wet. I went over it uh, two times, uh, especially down here at the bottom. Needed uh, a lot of work. So, another good project. Wilma, of course, is uh, cleaning up. She just gave me an outside shower because I was filthy. <laughs> Completely uh, covered in dirt because a lot of the dirt and grime just comes off the rocks on yourself. So, it's uh, shower time. This is enough for uh, for one day, and I'm glad we got it done. And uh, now it's time to enjoy the day. We've really had a stretch, a nice weather. I would say uh, it got to be seven, eight days. It did rain last night, so it's starting to get back to uh, the times where it rains at night and then nice during the day, which is great because it's really good for the garden uh, to have uh, some nice rain for the garden. And then sunny during the day so you can enjoy it. So I'm going to get out of the sun. I've been standing in it for uh, for two hours. And uh, hey boss, you doing a, doing a clean up? Yeah. She stuck with me the whole time. So uh, definitely uh, like the result. And I think this camera is going to be really nice. It, it's so much brighter um, in the playback. As I'm looking at it as I'm uh, panning. Everything just looks uh, more crisp. So I think we made a good decision. So uh, I think that's going to be the last of the work for today. Because this morning, um, once again, I power washed the truck um, and did the inside as well. So keeping busy. And uh, where's the puppies? They're here. They were? I don't see them. So they're wandering around somewhere. They probably went down. Yeah, they might they might have went down. What they've been doing is uh during the day they go down to the gate and crawl under the gate and run around outside. Uh which is a little dangerous, but they're just wandering around. And then usually when they hear us come out of the slider, when they hear the uh slider open up, they come running. And especially if they see uh that we're carrying the food bins, 
<laughs> they'll uh, run at us and uh, they're starting to bark as they run as well. And like I said, uh, the uh, little girl, Daisy, she's much, much more comfortable with us. So I think that's, uh, that's a good thing we've been working with her. We've been sitting here at night on the steps because they sleep over there a lot behind the two chairs. But uh, we've been sitting here at dusk and uh, they come up to us and just uh, play with us. And they've been very much uh, more comfortable with us over the last uh, couple of days. Duke has been fine from the, from the beginning, but Daisy has definitely warmed up to us. So that's our project for today. I think it's time uh, to relax and uh, maybe jump in the pool.